Hi, my name is Ed Begley Jr. and I'm part of a wonderful group that includes my friend Jody Evans and Ed Asner and James Cromwell, some people who were concerned back in 2002 is my memory. Let me look at the dates. Yes, I have such things. I dated it on the 9th of September, 2002. I took part in this and I'm gonna hold up here for a second. How to create a million new terrorists bomb Iraq. That's what we were afraid was going to happen. We were very concerned about the war. There was about a hundred of us, as I remember, who artists who were concerned about this. We signed a document, which I'll hold up in a moment too. But we relied on experts really is what happened. People like Admiral Eugene Carroll, who was president of the press conference that I took part in. My friend, uh, Robert Burns, who's a former Marine, people who have served. At, you, Admiral Eugene Carroll, by the way, was quite expert in the Mediterranean theater and uh, quite a, a heroic guy to take a stand like that. But I relied on uh, information from military experts. It seemed like a bad idea to me, but what do I know? So I talked to people who know about such things and they all thought it was a bad idea. We suspected that they were all lies about the weapons of mass destruction. And of course that was correct. We were, there's no joy in being right about any of this. We thought a lot of people would be injured. So we took out this ad about the lies and truth about uh, the, the time leading up to the war in Iraq. And here's the actual ad, I believe. What will the war with Iraq accomplish? A million new terrorists. And you see my name and many other names there on that list. What's interesting is uh, the media's reaction to this. Certain media, certainly on Fox News, I'm told by one friend of mine, Ira Miller, he said he heard Sean Hannity say that Ed Asner, Jamie Cromwell, myself, shall all be tried for sedition, for taking out this ad. Sedition. You know, we engaged, uh, apparently I found a document here too. I even gave some money. I'm happy I did that. I wasn't sure about that, but I keep such things for reference in the future. But my memory is very clear of being at this press conference. I believe it was on Las Palmas in Hollywood. And I think the wonderful Jody Evans was there. I'm very certain that Ed Asner and James Cromwell were, were there. I know that Admiral Eugene Carroll was there and that Robert Burns, my friend who's a Marine, was there. And we talked about these things and we thought it was a very bad idea. There would be a lot of collateral damage, some people call it. Another way to refer to it is dead civilians. And that's exactly what happened. As some of you might know, I'm involved in a lot of environmental matters and there's a grave environmental cost to these expeditions, these wars into foreign lands and these radioactive shell casings, the amount of lead, the amount of uh, damage to the water table, the, the loss of property and life and limb in every way, the loss of flora and fauna. Uh, you destroy the environment when you go in and wreak havoc with these kinds of weapons there. And we've seen it in Vietnam with Agent Orange. We've seen it with the devastation environmental and otherwise that was created in Iraq. And we, we have to stop this. It's a, another environmental disaster that we are creating. We must stay united now as there are other talk and bluster, saber rattling about engaging in other wars, people actually talking about nuclear options. It's a very dangerous time we live in. So we must as artists remain united. And I look to the leadership of my friends uh, that uh, are, are very much engaged in this. So I'm, I'm very grateful to know Robert Greenwald and Jody Evans and Ed Asner and James Cromwell and these people, my friends in the military who've served and know about the, the, the horrors of war and how uh, it can be avoided in many instances. So thank you so much, and uh, we must remain vigilant. Ed Begley, I thank you.